that's a lot of dog. He's a lot of dog. He's strictly outdoors or in the garage just because we don't want him chasing the cat. If he, you know, gets comfortable with, oh, I can, I'm in the house, and then he sees the cat, he's so big that we just don't want her running over the couch and him running over the couch and knocking over the TV and knocking things down. And so we've just kind of avoided that whole thing. Ernie is strictly an outside dog right now, and that's concerning because that tells me that he's probably not getting introduced to the variety of people that he needs to to socialize him properly. Can we meet Ernie? Sure. Okay, Wait, start. why did you what's hesitate? Yeah. What's that? What's that? So, um, has he ever yeah. bit anyone? No. He's on leash with a muzzle on. So, why wear a muzzle if he's not aggressive? Maybe it's because it makes me calmer, and then maybe that translates to him, and then he's more calm, or it just makes us feel better. Okay. We have to start chipping away at the fear that Julie has. I want to prove to her that we can bring Ernie into the house and he can actually behave himself. All right, we have a cat safely away. Awesome, why don't you guys go ahead and sit on the couch. All right. And then what I'd like is for you to just open this, walk in, and you're gonna go sit on the far side of the couch. How do you feel about that? So I can hold the leash, right? No, you're not gonna hold the leash. Okay. Yes? Yes. I'm gonna trust you, we're gonna do this. Okay, Okay. Right. I like it. So my biggest concern with walking in the house, if there aren't any like precautions taken with Ernie that he's just gonna, you know, go for Jackson. That makes me nervous. Good, and just, you can ignore him too, just so that, again, you're, you're trying to make this a non-issue. You know, we're getting our sniff on, we're meeting our new people. We're letting Boy, he, when he walks by you, my leg was like boing. Yeah. Ernie's got loose body language. He's looking around the room calmly. There's definitely tension in the room. It is <laughs> not Ernie tension. No. It is Julie tension. It is fully emanating from Julie. I'm going to have you stop petting him. Oh. What he's actually doing is checking in with you right there to make sure you're OK, because he oh. senses that you're nervous. Oh. What we need from Julie is confidence so that he feels the need not to check in with her constantly. And instead what we're getting is her attempting to comfort him for his anxiety, but his anxiety is coming from her anxiety. Braylon, go to town, my friend. Play with your dog. Let me see what your play sessions look like. Hey, sit, sit. Just Drop watch it. out for the... Drop it, sit, sit. Glass. Sit. <laughs> Good boy. For most protection breeds, tug of war is a huge game of theirs. Um, that does assist them if they were to actually have to rip somebody's arm off. <laughs> no, easy, easy, easy. Just watch your hands, okay? Has he ever accidentally got your hand? Most hurt I've ever got by him is him stepping on me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stepping on you. This is not aggression. I have not seen anything to justify Julie's fear. Over the next two months, I want to see Julie step up. I want to see her participating in his socialization, especially inside. From now on, play is only outside. Okay. Instead, in the house, I want him to learn how to be in a controlled, peaceful position, i.e. his place command, which means in his bed, in okay. a stay. Okay. The go to your place command means go over there and stay there until I release you with the word okay. All right. Ernie, good boy, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Place. Once his fourth foot is on there, that's when I say the word place. I bring the treat up a little just so his butt hits the ground, then I give him the treat. Okay. Then I'm gonna take one step away. If he's still there, he gets another treat. I want for a half an hour once a day, he goes into his bed, into a place. You get to sit down, watch TV, as long as you do not let him up. Okay. Okay. It's best to do this, of course, after exercise mm -hmm. so that he's nice and calm and tired. We've got a lot of really good ideas right now about how to get this cat and this dog together, but here's the bottom line. It's never going to happen unless Julie changes. If she's still afraid, we can't do anything. We're stuck. We can't move forward. That's it for me. You're on your own. Call me if you need me. Okay. Hey! What's up, buddy? How's it going? We're back at Julie and Braylon's house to check in on Ernie and Silver. We haven't seen these guys in about a month, and the biggest hurdle we have to overcome is Julie's fear of Ernie. We've let Ernie inside for 30 minutes every day. Yesterday, we, we had him sit and lay down, and he didn't get up once. Place. Look how much I'm growing. I love it. 
Julie and Braylon have worked really hard on their place command to make sure that Ernie will stay. What I need to know is can he do it around a huge distraction? So ideally, he's gonna be able to do this stay even if there's a kitty walking around in the room, right? Right. So we need to um, up the distraction level however possible. So I know he has some toys that he really likes. She wants you to have it in your hand and try to walk across the floor. We've really made leaps and bounds with Ernie, but if he can't control himself around these toys, Jack's not gonna let me put him around a cat. Nuh -uh. Good boy, wow. That is what I'm talking about right there. Go ahead and pick up the orange toy and go take it outside. That was good boy, fantastic. Oh, good. Yes, another good treat boy. moment. You had it, Julie. That is impulse uh, control. Oh, he wants oh, it. Oh, yeah. Without even prompting from me, Julie blocks Ernie when he tries to get up. Go ahead and tell him down. Nice down. and calm. So boring. Boy. Good boy. I know. Nice. Very good, Julie. Yes. Julie is now taking complete control of her dog. She has to feel more confidence in him now. I'm gonna have you bring your fur babe in. So now it's time to take everything that we have assigned. We're gonna take the place command. We are going to take the playtime. All of the confidence building that we've been doing with both human and animal. We're gonna introduce the animals. It's time. Good, and just send him straight to his Immediately bed. Immediately perks up, right? What? We want to start leading Silver around a little bit. Good, he just looked over there at that interaction and then got a little interested and immediately redirected his gaze to you. Here we go. We're teaching Ernie that there is no action here, right? And you know, the cat being around, so boring. Good, that was another auto check-in. Okay. He checked in with you first before attempting to move. Amazing work, man. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah, seriously. You did fantastic. And I can't wait to see you work even more with Silver. And the handling of Ernie is phenomenal. You're right on top of it. You caught every look that he gave you. Your positive reinforcement is on point. I'm really, really liking his relationship that he's yeah. built with you. It's really great. Yeah, it's fun. I'm enjoying him a lot more. Good. Oh, there you go. This journey has really surprised me because First of all, I didn't realize how much I was the problem. I didn't really realize how nervous I was about him. But now I just love him. I mean, I can just see the nuances in his personality now that I didn't see before and just enjoy spending time with him more.